in all the games we play. The judge is giving NBA Youngboy a chance to explain himself and what happened. Controversial Baton Rouge rapper NBA Youngboy has been a subject of discussion since he was arrested in his Utah home for multiple felony charges. The rapper has been on house arrest there, awaiting trial for a federal gun charge for two years. YB was booked for patterns of unlawful activity, procured or attempted to procure drugs, identity fraud, forgery, possession of controlled substances, and possession of a dangerous weapon. Following reports that NBA Youngboy will be moved to his hometown of Baton Rouge, where he will serve the remainder of his time until sentencing, new report reaching us at Dredge World is that the judge is willing to give NBA Youngboy a chance to explain himself and what happened. Now, check this out. Update. Judge is giving NBA Youngboy a chance to explain himself and what happened. Y'all think this will help his case? Once again, they're not citing any sources, so you, uh, <laughs> take this with a grain of salt, but I'll, I'll get more to it in the explanation. The update has since caused a debate online with fans speculating if it's possible for him to defend himself in this case. Yep. Being in the house too long, I get bored. Someone joke. Nah, this is a setup. They know he gonna make himself look stupid. Another person wrote, they trying to get him to dig a deeper hole for himself since he talks, plays a part in this case. Someone else added, as we previously reported, authorities are accusing young boy of running prescription fraud ring. The arrest report says young boy, real name Control Gaudin, was part of a scheme to fraudulently obtain promethazine with codeine, aka lean. Why be it others who have yet to be named allegedly try to obtain the prescribed drug at multiple pharmacies in Cache County, Utah? The Baton Rouge rapper reportedly called in for a prescription for a 74 year old woman to a pharmacy in Utah and provided the pharmacist with an actual valid DEA number, MPI number, and other identification for the real physician. Now, let me flat out say this. I don't believe this report at all. I don't. There's no sources cited. There's no actual documentation that's provided or anything like that. Now, granted, he don't have to provide that, but uh, and this rap house who started it, they don't have to provide that. But yeah, they do. So well, let's let's get into it. You're telling me that the judge essentially is saying to snitch on his people. Giving somebody the chance to explain themselves, you don't handle that with the judge. You handle that with the with the damn with the damn DA, with the district attorney, bro. You don't handle that with the judge. The judge accepts the terms of what the DA did, or what the DA agreed to. Of what you and the DA agree to. The judge makes sure that it's fair and that you're able to basically not be screwed out of it, even if you got screwed out of it sometimes. See, a judge is supposed to be a referee. The judge ain't finna sit up here and let that man explain himself because it doesn't make sense. So I don't believe Rap House and what they just posted. I think that's a BS article and I'm, I'm gonna call it out for what it is. And people will be like, well, bruh. Hey, you done put out some BS before? Yeah, I have. I put out some BS before, and I cleaned it up. But for the most part, I've been batting around like 88% out here. So don't try me with that BS. Either way it goes, let's just play Captain Pretend It's Real. If the judge invited him in, the judge would invite him in with the DA, and they were already set up some preliminaries, right? That didn't happen. So let's just say the judge said, come in and explain yourself. Why would he? Now, some of y'all be like, well, Nash, he should, he should, he should. No, he shouldn't. Even if given a chance to do that. Why? Because his people need to go ahead and say that we did this, we did that. He had nothing to do with it and all this stuff. You know, nothing like that. But the problem with it is, is if that was NBA Youngboy's voice on the phone, which we say it is, um, that's still conspiracy. Because all you cats who keep on getting on here and y'all didn't hear the whole entire thing, y'all keep saying, well, what if he beat it? What if he beat it? This is the alleged part and this is the nail in the coffin. Even if young boy didn't do all of this stuff, he still has conspiracy charges to beat. What the hell do you mean, Nash? They literally said, and this we just taking the police, and we don't always take the police at their word, but this is just, hey, if it's true. So let me help y'all out. If it's true, remember, the police said, they were talking to NBA Youngboy about a car that was in his name. Youngboy 
was the one who said something about prescription drugs without even being asked. That's the equivalent of me saying on the phone with one of you people, let's say you watching this right now, and you say, hey, Seti Nash, bro, I just caught your son out here joyriding in your car. And I say, oh, yeah, I let him do that. What about the weed in the back? What, what you mean, weed in the back, bro? What, what you talking about? Yeah, oh, 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 my, my, my uh, yeah, uh, nah. Then on top of that, remember, the same Gwendolyn lady and all that stuff, all those bottles and all that was found in NBA Youngboy's house. Now, y'all can say, um, yeah, bro, I actually, I, me, myself. I actually had those bottles and, and, and all that stuff. And they could take the charge for that. Then they could even take the charge for the gun that was in NBA Youngboy's closet. They could say, you know what, bro? Since it actually wasn't an NBA Youngboy's possession, it doesn't have fingerprints on it, we could do that and let him beat all of that. And we could say all of that is true. Still got to beat that conspiracy charge. So we shall see. I don't know where the hell that just came from. But I don't know, bro. It's a... Uh, it's interesting because let's just say he did snitch. Would it really be snitching? Or would we think that that's what his people would want? I don't know, bro. I don't know. But I don't believe that damn report. And even if it's true, young boy shouldn't take the offer up anyways. That's what his lawyer's for. His lawyers and everybody else has to agree on stuff. He still has to be the conspiracy charge. But y'all let me know if y'all believe this because maybe, maybe y'all do. Maybe I think NBA Youngboy gets a chance to explain himself. But what would he explain exactly? What would he say? I let my people come here and they were doing pills. And I just sat there and I watched. Them. Well, they were there with the permission of you and the permission of your PO and whatever false pretenses you gave. Still bad. You got to remember, part of the reason why some of these guys go to jail, it's not because they did any crime. It's because of stuff that happened around them that they decided to allow. Meaning you hung out with niggas who are doing wrong. So the terms of your bond says you can't hang out with those individuals. You decided to do that as well. It happens. But uh, share to keep your people aware. You don't see this video at 4K likes. Do me a solid. Do me a solid. Hit that one up. And we are 32,000 away. That 32. Yeah, man. Yeah. We getting there quickly, bro. So, um. If I'm y'all, I hit that subscribe button, I hit that like button, I comment and I share because we're getting really close, bro. I ain't going to hold you, it's getting a little scary. It look like we're going to hit our goal faster than we need to. <laughs> and on top of that, if you need to contact me, bro, follow me on Twitter at Real Seti Nash. And I didn't know they can only allow me to follow 400 people at a time. So get to be one of those 400 people and they max another 5,000. So the first 5,000, I can follow y'all. So... <laughs> let's run it up, let's run it up, let's run it up, and I'll catch y'all over there.